Now then, finally tonight, to the extraordinary reunion between a group of quick-thinking first-aiders and a baby whose life they saved after a devastating car crash. What makes it extraordinary is that the baby, Stacey Parks, is now 29 years old and has wanted to thank the former miners from Rossington Colliery near Doncaster ever since she was old enough to know what happened. Well, today she finally got the chance after tracking them down on the internet. And our cameras were there to capture the moment as well. Here's Katie Oscroft. <laughs> Holding the teddy they gave her after they rescued her, Stacy Parks finally met the seven men who saved her life. If it wasn't for these seven people, I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have been here today. And I'm now reaching my 30th birthday. Like I said, I've got three beautiful children, and obviously, if it wouldn't have been for these, I wouldn't have. <laughs> this was Stacy and her teddy in 1988. The men, all miners and first aiders, just happened to be on their way back from a competition. They practiced what to do if they came across an accident. We trained for scenarios in accidents where the casualties were hidden in uh, in debris with vehicles, and that's what happened on this day. Stacy was actually hidden under the debris in the car, and so we located her, and she wasn't breathing and she was unconscious. But uh, we revived her, and there she is to tell the tale. Stacy, here in the arms of her parents, has brought her own children up to know what seven brave men did that day. They've made some uh, stuff for the boys. If it wasn't for you, man. Me and my brothers wouldn't be here today, thank you. Brilliant. Oh, it's brilliant. I love it. It says it all, doesn't it? Okay. This is the actual scene of the accident that you were travelling down. Uh, Andy Whitaker took Stacey back to where it happened. Her great auntie died in the crash caused by a drink driver. It was surreal, just how it all kicked in. Came across the scene, made it safe, set for help, and then we just disputed ourselves accordingly. For us, it was just fantastic to be able to use that training. And oh, to um, that's what it was for. That's what it was for. We worked in a colliery. It was, a, it was an area that was, you know, sometimes dangerous as industry. And uh, um, first aid was something that, that colliers did. It's something, you know, I think it's always been on his mind um, how old she was and what she's doing. But, you know, we never thought we'd, we'd meet again, really. This is a teddy bear that got presented to her from our first aid team in 1988, and she's treasured it ever since. Looks after me. <laughs> I'm really amazed and happy. And... Like I said, for ages, I've always wanted to meet him, and now I've met him, I just feel better in myself. The best that will save my life, aren't they? Stacey says she just wants to thank her heroes for every one of the 28 years since they last met. Katie Oscroft, ITV News, Rotherham. What a nice oh, story. It is well, fabulous, isn't it? Yeah, well, nice well, well, on, a, on a good story. Well, I'm not sure the weather's quite.